everybody so we're back with a how to painter goalie mask so I had some previous video already for you guys but somehow the file was corrupted so I'm gonna do my best to uh, give you some more information on this video so as you see here we have the back plate here um, so what you want to do basically when you receive a new goalie mask it's brand new it's shiny um, what you want to do is you want to take off the hardware so that includes the nuts that are on the back or the screws and then uh, for the newer generation mask once you take off the screws the padding will come out from the back like so you can see the holes there so those screws uh, hold in the, the padding and then once you get it off it's going to look like this on both sides it'll be white it'll have some hockey stickers on the back like this and what you want to do then is you basically want to what I use is 400 grit sandpaper and you want to dip it in some water and you want to sand the mask so again a new mask is going to be shiny white for example it'll be shiny like that you can see that reflection there so the whole mask will be even way shinier than that so you want to dip the 400 grit sandpaper into water and then in the light, in the light circular motion you want to sand it until the paint becomes like the shine goes dull so it's going to turn to like a matte finish almost like 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 uh, like that there's no shine to it right that's all you want to do and then you want to wash it off with some soap and water and dry it up the next step is you want to prime it i always use automotive white primer so just three coats 10 minutes apart and you're good to go i let it dry personally for 24 hours um for me that i find that uh, the perfect way so you can tape over your design so what we're going to do here now is I already got one guy, one of my logos in the middle there. And now I'm just going to paint some stripes. So stand by and we'll get to doing that. Very light, very light uh, paint coming out. Okay, here we go. And we're just going to lightly set it in there. You don't want to go too heavy on your first coat. up until the top I got, the, I got the masking tape all over so I'm, what, my, what the goal here is to mask off any areas you don't want the green sometimes you get a little bit of overspray but you can easily use an eraser and just uh, it comes right off Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done here on the Millionaire's Mask. My method, how I do it. It's be shook up or pearl white. We're gonna drop in there, three gigantic. Using high PSI here, oh, 50 to 60, and we're just going to dust it over. Oh, that's looking nice. Just you want to dust it over. The 
back plate is all done. We got the money logos ghosted in on the edge to complement the main part of the mask. We got the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase in the middle. And we got the main mask here. We got the team logo. We got the dollar, the money logos here. We got the finger. We got the millionaires. Beautiful crisp lines. And we got the ghosted image here. I don't know how well you can see that. And the next step is clear coat on Tuesday. Beautiful looking mask. It's gonna look gorgeous. I love the pearl paint. Hopefully I can do more of them in the future. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys. Have a good night. Plate is done. Actually the entire mask is done. And just uh, brought it in. It looks very nice. The colors are glistening. The sparkle acid paint, there you go, you can see it shining there. Very nice. Yeah, she looks beautiful. That green really shines nice with the sparkle acid paint. The money logos look spectacular. You can see them there, smaller ones up here. Nice wet finish. Oh yeah, that pearlescent paint is gorgeous. Let's see if I can reach around to the top. The final product, absolutely stunning. Paint is glistening, the clear coat is nice and wet and shiny.